So let's start off by using a list box and uh, let's call it and let's add some items in it and let's have a numeric indicator whatever we select here will be shown here and let's change the representation to i32 as well and let's clean up the block diagram next uh, we will use a property of the list box to find out which element has been selected which is item names so what will we do whatever item has been selected in this list box we will go through using the index array function and we will display the result found in this indicator and let's clean up the block diagram so let's go and test so let's uh, So let's uh, uh, run this uh, VI. Let's select, let's say, so whatever item we are selecting is shown in here and in here. So let's create another list box and this time it will be a multi selection list box so like previously let's have a numeric indicator and a string indicator but since we will be selecting multiple items we will have to place them in arrays it's an array of
so let's bring these arrays down open them up a bit align their tops and distribute the horizontal gap to make some look things look little better so let's add some items Now this uh, list box is also a uh, single select. To make it multi-select, we should right click it then go to selection mode and from there select, let's select one or more items. So now let's go to the block diagram and copy this uh, index array function. Let's connect this uh, list box to this array of numerics. Change it to indicator. It's already indicator. So uh, let's change this representation to I32. Move its label. and we need the property node for item names since it, this is multi select so multiple items will be selected so let's have a for loop Let's disable indexing. Pass the whole array in. And this array is already contain already contains the selected items. So let's index the item names out. The strings of item names and Let's pass these to this array indicator. Let's clean up the block diagram. And we are done coding. Let's go to the front panel, run the VI, and select the first item. Press Control, select the second item, and press keep pressing the Control and press the and we can see the indexes of the items that are selected and the names of the items that are selected. Now we can just select the first item, press shift and select the last item. In which case all are selected. Now control and select an item to deselect it. Control click to deselect. So this is how we can uh, use single select and multi select properties and the item names to extract the items that a user has selected from amongst the uh, item names given to a list box.